If you are struggling with fan making volume fans, volume lashing, this is the video you do not want to miss because I promise you these tips are going to take your fans to another level. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel and I am the co-founder of Flourish Lashes. Okay, if you are struggling with the fans, the fans are not easy to work with sometimes and honestly I get it. But it is actually crazy how tiny little adjustments can make such a big difference with your fan making. It is all about the micro movements, small little things that you may not have thought of, but I have. So I am going to share them with you right now. Let's jump into a couple tips on things that you can change before you start making fans, while you're making fans, and just things to kind of keep in mind as you're fan making that can actually help you overall. Okay, let's get into a really simple tip that I think is not talked about enough, but honestly, brushing your lashes, brushing the lashes before you fan them is going to make a huge difference. This literally separates all the lashes, fluffs them out, and can make your fans that much more fluffy. I swear I cannot believe how much of a difference this actually makes. Just don't forget to do it while you're lashing. If you feel like the lashes aren't coming out the way you want, take your spoolie, run a brush to them, and I promise you it will help a lot. Second tip, make sure that there are no loose hairs that are hanging on at the edge of your strip. You want to make sure that the lashes are nice and tight together so that way you get a fan that has a nice tight base and doesn't compromise your fan to be honest. Next, let's take a look at your tweezers. Are they clean? Are they sharp? Do they have a great grip to them? Does there ha is there anything on there that can potentially mess them up like any residue of glue? How does the actual grip on the handle look? This is all gonna be super helpful when you actually go to fan because you have to get used to all these characteristics of your tweezers. Next thing is you wanna make sure that the tips of your tweezers are not compromised. This is why it's so important not to drop your tweezers or Make sure that you have a backup because if you drop your tweezers and the tips are compromised, it's going to make it that much harder for you to pull and separate those lashes from the strip. No matter what method you're using, they need to be sharp. There needs to be no gaps in them. There needs to be no residue in them to make sure that you can fan just right. Okay, let's look at the actual fanning process now. So I'm going to be basing this on the shimmy method because that is what I normally do. But you want to make sure that you are taking your time with this. Make sure that you are being precise. You're not rushing it because that will be the death of your fan. So make sure that you are taking your time with your grip. Your grip is a massive, massive factor. The tension you put on your tweezers is going to make a huge difference when it comes to how your fan actually fans, blooms, and how you pick it up. Okay, let's go into some details here. So I'm going to use the tip of my tweezers to separate the lashes. Then I'm going to shimmy back and forth. What I'm doing here is opening and closing my grip very slightly to let the lashes move. They have to be somewhat movable to fan. Do you see how it was moving and it looked great, but then it didn't look good when I picked it up because there was too much space between the tweezers. You cannot let go of your tweezers too quickly. So we're going back, shimmying, shimmying. I get the actual bloom I want, death grip, pick up. Now, I know that may not look like a great fan, but I promise you it is. I'm not worried about the bases because I know that when I use my glue ring, I am going to get those bases snatched and back together. And I will show you guys exactly what I mean in a bit. But just know that I'm really concerned about the opening of my fan and making sure that the top of it is actually uh, bloomed and even the way I want it. And then I can always maneuver the bases with my actual glue ring. Okay, another tip here. Make sure that your tweezer is flat on your strip. Make sure that it has stability, even if this fan or this strip is on my hand. I make sure that my tweezer is stable because then that gives me control over the fan. Okay, let's give it another shot here. So I'm shimmying, shimmying, making sure I get the bloom that I want. If I'm not, I'm readjusting the death grip, lift it up. So you can see that that fan right there, it is looking good to me. I go ahead and I dip it into my glue ring. Use the edge of the glue ring to give myself the base that I want and he's narrow cute and fluffy I like it sometimes if I feel that I need the base to be a little bit tighter I'll go back in and use it again quickly you don't want the glue to dry you just want to do it super fast so that you can snatch it back super quick 
Okay, let's use the glue ring to snack to the base. So I'm using clear glue here so you guys can see. This is my fan that has some frayed lashes, slightly dipping into the adhesive, not enough to close the fan, just enough to close the base. I'm going to tap on the edges of the glue ring to make sure any of the lashes that are loose going in different directions are being tucked in together, stacked on one another to make a tapered base that is needle-like. Okay, let's grab another fan here. So I'm gonna pull this guy out. You can see that the bases are definitely separated, but not frayed, just separated. So I'm gonna use my clear glue again, slightly dip, and then brush against the sides, tap, tap, all the lashes come together, and it is perfectly tapered at the bottom there. You can see how pointed that base looks and how effortless it is. It's so easy to do this, honestly. It helps me so much. I absolutely love this way. This is why I live for a glue ring, but you can see how that makes all the bases smooth, easy to apply, nice and slim, and that's exactly what we need when we make our fans. Okay guys, that is it. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you really did get something from this. I hope to see a difference in your fans. If you guys have any more questions about fan making, leave them in the comments below. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with something new next time. Bye!